It's a thrill to be here with you, and as I think about the journey that we're each taking, <clears throat> you know, we're on stage for a time. This is our second act, or in other words, our second estate. We didn't begin here, we won't end here. We didn't come to this earth to gain our worth, we brought it with us. But I'm reminded of a wonderful experience. Um, it was in the Promise Valley Playhouse in Salt Lake City, and they were doing this incredible drama of Annie. And you remember the story of Annie. She was a little orphan girl, and things hadn't worked out for her, and things were just seemed to be desperate, and yet she sang, the sun will come out tomorrow, tomorrow the sun will come. What was it that allowed her to do that when she was in that situation, for goodness sakes? Well, as that play unfolded that night. It was an incredible experience. We saw this little girl on stage. She made a few mistakes. Her storyline was that she things didn't go well for her. And uh, actually, the dog came on out of sequence, and she had to take the dog off. So it wasn't a perfect performance. <clears throat> but the courage, the spirit, the vitality, the, the apparent confidence of this little girl was just amazing. And when the curtain closed on the final act, there was a standing ovation. Couldn't believe a little one could perform so well and continue on when things didn't go exactly as planned. The script wasn't followed exactly. But when she came off stage, she came out into the foyer, there was a resounding applause. People just cheered and cheered. Can you imagine how she would have felt so buoyed up in spirit? So she, of course she was smiling and feeling so good. But that night, I saw a miracle that has stayed with me ever since. In the midst of all this applause and all this recognition, while she played center stage, in a miraculous way, the crowd opened up just a little bit, and she saw an elderly man standing over in the corner. I'd watched him standing there and wonder what he was doing there. As the crowd spread open just a little, amidst the cheering, she shouted as loud as she could, Grandpa! Grandpa! There wasn't a sound in the studio or in the foyer. She ran through this open channel and had her arms reached out. And her grandpa had his arms reached out like giant parentheses and folded her into his arms. I wasn't close enough to what I, so that I could hear, but I think he must have said, my dear, my dear, you played your part so very, very well. Now, my dear sisters, we have different parts to play. Sometimes we play center stage, sometimes backstage, sometimes in the wings. And sometimes we may not be playing the part we thought we auditioned for. But when the curtains fall on the final act, it won't matter what part we played, as long as we're true to the principles and the path that we chose before we came. <clears throat>